Okay, I would like to give you an explanation about the Joule effect. How does it work? In the year, on the, on the 1800s, uh, this, um, this heat transfer was, with under, was understanding as the caloric effect. And uh, Joule was uh, a, um, a student that cooperates with Lord Kelvin in a university in the, in the UK. And he was, uh, his father was the owner of a bar in England where they serve beer. But he was working in the cannon factory where they make cannons for the army. And with the time, while he was working there, he observed that when they drill uh, the holes in the cannons, you know, uh, the, the heat was transferred one, from one end to the other end. And he was observing with the time that this heat uh, was, uh, was starting when they started drilling the holes and end in the other side. And this afterwards was considered and was uh, uh, accepted as Joule effect because of his observation and his study as a helper of Lord Kelvin. The Joule effect today is uh, normally um, is related to the amps of the electricity wires because depending on the amount of electricity that goes through the wire, it, it gets hot or not. That means if it gets overheated, the wire, that means the, that the Joule effect is very high in these wires and you must decrease the amount of current in order to prevent that the wires will explode, will break.